Uh, so, of course, last week in Gate, we did get swept by number eight Minnesota State, but we saw a lot of kind of different adjustments, especially in that first game, going more on that defensive end in the second period. Kind of what was the mentality and idea to kind of push in and hang out with that team throughout the weekend? You know, we, we knew it was going to be difficult. Uh, Minnesota State, uh, as we all know, is as good a college hockey team as there is out there, and um, they've been the, the top team in our league. And so for us to go up there and and be in two competitive games with them uh, for our group was important. Uh, Friday, um, we felt like our guys did a nice job, uh, especially on the penalty kill. We were five for five on the kill, and 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 we worked, and we, we, we were uh, invested in the game plan. Uh, we knew we were going to have to defend uh, against their group, and, and we knew that their coaches were going to have their attention. They had just gotten swept by St. Cloud, and, and Played well enough to win, but gotten swept, and they hadn't been swept in close to five years. So uh, we knew that they were going to be ready to play, especially uh, at home after getting swept. Um, you know, we had a nice uh, power play goal there late to tie it up, and unfortunately, and we did a great job on the penalty kill in overtime that Friday night. And unfortunately, we we weren't able to to get any momentum after the kill because they scored not too soon after. But uh, we got a point that first night, so the guys felt good about that, and then we had to you know, regroup and come back the next night. And, um, you know, we, we didn't, we probably didn't play as well. Uh, we defended hard. We, our, our penalty kill did a nice job. Uh, we just weren't able to get to the offense as much. Uh, that had a lot to do with Minnesota state, but we really did defend well. And, and even, even though the shots were, uh, a little one-sided, uh, we didn't feel like the, the, Grade A opportunities were, were terrible, and, and so we're, we're happy with how, how hard our guys defended, knowing that, too, we went up there with a, with a very short roster. We, everybody who was healthy had played that weekend, and uh, we didn't have any guys sitting out that were able to, to jump in on the Saturday night because everybody else was, was not on the trip. So um, all in all, there were some positives uh, from the weekend for sure in, in, in how, how the penalty kill did and how hard we defended. Um, other than that, you know, we, we know we're just going to continue to work. We saw some positives, and there's some things that we felt like after watching both games back, uh, if we can do do some things, some little things a little bit better, that will allow us to, to be, to be to big picture, be, be a lot better. So try to take the positives out of, out of that uh, weekend and, and get ready for Michigan Tech. Speaking of having that smaller roster, saw uh, uh, Silver in the post uh, both nights. Is that something we're going to see again this weekend, or are we possibly seeing Rose? That wasn't the plan going in. Zach Rose was supposed to start on on Friday. Um, we meet with the goalies on Wednesday and talk about the plan for the weekend. And, and when we met with them Wednesday, Zach was healthy, and uh, Zach was going to go Friday, and Christian was going to go Saturday. And uh, Thursday in practice up there in Mankato, uh, Zach pushed across for a puck and tweaked his leg a little bit and, and wasn't even, we didn't even dress Zach all week and we brought him along and, and we didn't even dress him. So uh, right now I, I would say we're, we're monitoring Zach each day just to see where he's at. And, uh, you know, we'll talk to the goaltenders tomorrow and, and uh, see, see where things are and, and go from there. But right now our, we're just taking the goaltending day by day based on that. You mentioned kind of getting those points and the goals in that first uh, answer there. Speaking of the goals, Quinn Emerson getting his first collegiate goal uh, with you guys up in Mankato. Just kind of talk about how that kind of helps with the team and kind of mentality around that. Yeah, you know, he was a part of that that penalty kill and uh, with some guys and, and uh, did a nice job and got a shorthanded breakaway and, and made a good shot to to finish it. So fun to see him get his, his first goal. And uh, the, the bench was really excited for him because Quinn, Quinn's a really hardworking young man and so really cool for him to get that. You know, Adam Pitters had his first goal of, of the year on the weekend, and uh, so there were, like I said, there were some positives uh, over the course of the weekend. Anything on Zoom? Hi, coach. Hey, Pete. Um, oh, hey, Momo. I'm not sure you. Um, how are you today? I'm doing okay. Um, just uh, wondering, you're going through a little bit of adversity here with the team. What do you think is the key point to get out of this little stump? Um, you know, we, we take our season 34 game season and, and, and we, we, we take the first 32 and we break it into, um, segments of eight games. So, so the past weekend was our, was the end of the first eight game segment. And, and when you look at the, the schedule at the beginning of the year and, and, uh, you see who we're playing and where we're playing and, and, um, 
we felt like it was going to be a difficult eight game segment. Uh, obviously from a result standpoint, it was, uh, we started off good, uh, got four or six points up at Northern Michigan. The next weekend we, we went at Michigan state. Then they beat us here the night before. If, if you remember the game, it was one, one late. And, and we, we, uh, unfortunately got a, a five minute major penalty and weren't able to kill it off. And then Michigan state went on one. And then we had a difficult weekend against, uh, Western Michigan. And then last weekend there were, there were definitely more positives against a, a really good team. So you're right. There is adversity and, you know, um, we're trying to get healthy first and foremost, that, that will help us, uh, moving forward. Uh, we're, we're focusing on some things that we can correct. You know, we've, we've tweaked the, the lines a little bit and, and, uh, tweaked, uh, some, some system stuff. But the, the biggest part is, is we're not able to have healthy competition and, and practice the way we want to practice when we're so short on, on bodies, you know, when we've got so many guys sitting out of practice, it's, it's really hard to, to work on some things consistently when, when you don't have certain players. So, uh, the important thing is, you know, in, in talking with the players and talking with our older guys, um, they still feel good about their themselves. They feel good about the group. Um, now individually, there's some guys that, that want to play better and, and are not happy with, with where they're at individually, but they've, told us that they feel good about the group. And we've had some honest conversations with them about, are, are there things we can do better? What do we think? And, and, you know, right now we just have to, uh, you know, focus on this weekend and it's, it's a, it's a big CCHA series, uh, with, with Michigan tech. And it's important that, that, uh, come Friday night at seven o'clock, we're ready to go because Michigan tech's going to come down here and, and be really excited to play. So, uh, our, our focus, you know, yesterday at practice was to try to get better and, and uh, we, you know, we, we got Ethan Scardina practiced, uh, and Brett Foe practiced. So that was two more bodies that we were able to, to get out there and, and practicing, which is good. Uh, and, and we did the same thing again today. So we have to stick together during this adversity. Uh, we have to, to work on some things that, that, that we've identified that, that we believe we, we can improve on and then uh, just keep going. Thank you so much. Yep. Anything else? Yeah, Coach, with uh, Michigan Tech coming in on Friday, you're saying you already started preparation. What's the game plan to try to get pucks by Piatella? He's uh, put up some stingy numbers so far this year. Yeah, I, I think I said it earlier this morning to another uh, person I talked to. You know, he was a second-team All-League goalie last year, and, and he's a very good goalie. Uh, you know, for us, um, from an offensive perspective, we haven't had as many uh, attempts and grade A opportunities. So I would, you know, obviously getting more shots on him. We, we've tried to focus this week, you know, in the two days uh, with our guys in, in making sure we get pucks on the net. You know, uh, maybe we're trying to get too perfect with it as opposed to just get a puck on the net and, and try to create a little bit of chaos around their net and try to, to get some more opportunities, maybe second and third opportunities. But yeah, they, they defend well and, and he's a very good goalie. So the, the focus is, is going to gonna be uh, making sure we're we're getting those initial shots and then, you know, trying to, to win a, win a battle for a rebound on a second and third effort and getting as many shots on him is going to be important.